How the hell did you manage that? In all honesty, I have no idea. Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to the channel. The keys just fell. Uh, so yeah, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we're on with the trade-up challenge. Um, I've had a request for a custom-built cosy coop. Um, so I'm going to run it through the trade-up. Uh, so I'm using some of the cash uh, to go pick it up today. Then I'm going to bring it back home, get it all cleaned up and everything, and... Uh, We'll go from there. Whether or not this is going to be the uh, whether whether I'm going to do the wheel first or the uh, or this, I'm still undecided. But I'm sure when I see it and pick it up, I'll have a better understanding of uh, of what's entailed with it. So yeah, let's go pick it up. Okay, so we are back, and this is the new Mark II Cozy Coop rebuild for the trade up challenge. I mean, this thing's great. It's like it even has the locking system on the door all the stickers are still intact which i'm which is good but I'm, I'm i am going to have to take them apart the wheels are in great condition as well and again that'll be another taking apart um so yeah it's it's looking it's looking well i'm pretty pretty chuffed with that um yeah this is this is this is what i was after um this is what i'm going to take apart and this is what i'm going to make into a trade-up so we'll have to kind of See how that goes, but for now, that's there. The other part we've got is the wheel. So I'm gonna go have breakfast because I am absolutely starving. So I'm gonna go get myself a nice greasy fry up to start my day. And then I'm gonna decide whilst I'm eating that what the next plan is. So I'll be back. What I'm doing, I don't know. You'll know in the next clip. Turns out I went for my breakfast. It was a good breakfast. But then I came back and I started on with another project. So I have like, one, two, three, four, five, six, around seven projects now. Um, but this is the trade-up challenge video. So part of the trade-up challenge was, obviously, I was I was waiting on the deal from my friend, um, but they was delayed, so money was involved, and he gave me some money instead, and said that the, the items were still on the way. It was just going to be a wait for them. So he kind of gave me the money, to, like I say, to kind of compensate, if that is, until... I get whatever it is that he, he has available. However, he helped me pick up that, and he had this. So it's a Suzuki Swift front panel, brand new, never been used, uh, never been on a car, still in the wrapper, still in great condition, immaculate. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip that. That's just gonna be a straight up sell. Then obviously I have the uh, Cozy Coupe rebuild, which is probably gonna take a little bit of time and the table, which is also gonna take a bit of time. So, I don't know when the, this this video is gonna be seen, um, but we are on with a lot of different projects. For now, I'm not starting another project, for now. Um, there is things in the pipeline later, but for now, it's just gonna be a matter of crack on with the projects I've got, get them ready to be at a stage, and then move on to the next one. So I'm taking my time with it. First part is going to be finishing them off, getting that sorted, and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. Anyway, bear with me, this could be a long one. Hello everyone. Um, so yeah, I decided that the best port call is to um, basically get rid of the bits that are easy to shift uh, in the trade up. So I have the big Suzuki um, from right panel, I believe it is. Uh, I'm just waiting to find out what model it's from so i can get it up on facebook marketplace and get rid of it so we're currently standing at 150 in cash we have the trade up wheel we have the new cooper uh, new cozy coop project and we have the wing so as i'm looking around uh, a wing i probably shift for 50 quid so that'll take us to 200 this, I think I'll probably be able to get 100 for this. I'm, I'm giving myself 100 or a decent trade for it. And for the Cozy Coop, depending on how it comes out, how it looks, whether I need to put a bit more money into it, don't know. But it is in the works and we're getting there. So today I'm uh, going to have a look at this, work out how I'm going to put it together. Um... I am going to use some of the plywood that I've still got lying about 
uh, to create a flooring base and then we're going to look at possibly building the um, the legs for the table from there. So right now uh, I'm just going to kind of measure it up, get it all right, work out the process that I'm going to go with and crack on with it. So I'll see you in a minute. So that's it. The Suzuki Swift panel 2011 model I found out. Uh, it is up on Facebook. Hopefully I'll get some interest in that and someone will pick that up. So now we're on to the wheel. Obviously you see it's not on the bench, it's down here. So I massively, massively underestimated how much plywood I actually had left. Um, so what I'm gonna do is basically draw around this. I've just got enough to like sort of just get the edges. Um, <clears throat> so my clutch gonna have to be like super clean on this. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I've just got enough. I still have some leftover to play about with and do whatever I need to do with at a later point. But it's coming together nicely, it's looking all right. I'm gonna draw around this now and then we're gonna start the cutting and get that started. Yeah. So ignore the Crocs and my work shoes. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get, uh, get this lined out. Now for the big reveal. See, that is that is tight, but we've just got enough, so I'm happy with that. Okay. So you can see the line is drawn out. I just need to get my uh, cutting tools and we'll go for it. Okay, so we got it all marked out. There was a couple of screws uh, that I've had to take out. It's not actually in this part, they were in the outside part, but when I start using the uh, Sawzall, it's, uh, it'd, it'd catch. So they've been taken out. Um, I'm gonna, have a go at it. Um, it's not as secure as I was kind of hoping it might be, um, but I'm hoping that my body weight plus holding on tight will do the trick. Um, but we'll have to see, and uh, we'll have to give it a go. Anyway, I'll set the camera up, and we'll uh, we'll make a start. Right, let's give this a go. I'm going to start with this corner um, and try and take this off best I can. Um, yeah, I think that's just, I'm just gonna have to start and just just go for it. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and cut to the line. If not, I'm gonna try and cut away so I can take it back with the with saws and bits. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a go. So that's gonna move. So I'm gonna have to find a way to clamp this down. Hopefully I can use this it would make my job a lot easier. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. So, yeah, fun times. The other part, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut this down to a smaller size, which will be a lot easier to do, and then I'm gonna work with it from there. So we'll, we'll carry on cutting. So I figured working with a smaller piece is gonna be a hell of a lot easier. So I have uh, sawed it in half and yeah, back to uh, what we need to do. But, gives me a chance to use this, so that's always plus. The nail vanish was for a project. So as you can see, we've changed plan. Uh, I'm hoping this works. There is a lot to cut, um, but I'm just gonna have to go for it and we'll see how it turns out. I'm, 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 I've got, I think I've got this, I've got this. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go for the, probably the longest, kind of longest cut, but we'll just... Okay, yeah, success. A ah, little bit more at the bottom here, just take that off. first part of paint removed from the vice. I, I could kind of see it happening in front of me, but I did it anyway. But this is coming together quite nicely and working out a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. 
So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, so now this one is actually the longest cut, so we'll, uh, we'll just get going with it. <laughs> As I started to cut that, I couldn't really see where my blade was heading along the line. So I took it this way so I could change it up a little bit. And, uh... Okay. That's why I should wear safety goggles, because... Uh, Flying particles of sawdust. We have a very poorly cut base for the table. All in all, pretty happy. Okay, so it's been cut out really badly. Um, <laughs> there is so much that I need to work on and take off. Uh, it looks okay, but that's because I've coloured in the parts I need to cut out with a sharpie. All right, so the next bit is I need to line up um, the brake disc with this. Because the brake disc I've got is for Seat Leon or something, but it's only got four holes, whereas this is a five-hole um, alloy. So the neighbour has kindly offered to lend me his, uh, his pillar drill. And what we're going to do is... We're gonna re-drill the holes so it fits, uh, and then bolt through the bottom, locking nut on top, so it looks like a wheel. Um, how it's gonna turn out again, we don't know, but that's what this channel's all about. Um, so right now, I've got this. I'm gonna try and line up this in there. Uh, it's, yeah, we'll just have to kind of wing it and see what happens, but I'll get a bit of a video of me doing that, so you can enjoy the entertainment of me failing. These brake discs are huge. I wish I had a little step. So. I don't know why I have it on this because that's not gonna change a thing. So let me just move this. I mean, if I can line up one of the holes it means obviously less drilling, but we'll just have to kind of... <clears throat> Short guy problems, I can't even see. Bear with me, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get a tiny little stool. This is definitely not the most secure thing, but as you can see, the center point's aligned. We have a partial there, but there's gonna be four holes to drill, so. Yeah, bear with me. I'm just gonna get them drawn in and then it will be whatever's next. Okay, so that's where we're at for now. Um, these bits that we have, so obviously the brake disc and this just needs a bit of a tidy up. Uh, so I'm gonna get to that. Um, I am gonna need to borrow the neighbor's uh, pillar drill to do the brake disc because there is no way that my really cheap, uh, not very strong drill is gonna make it all the way through that with the diameter holes that I need. Um, so I will be borrowing his pillar drill. Um, but once that's done and everything's kind of together, um, yeah, I think we can we can, we can can start looking about either paint or polish. Uh, I have seen some center caps, which would look absolutely spot on on a black alloy wheel. So, I think I'm probably just gonna have to have a think about what I want to do with it. Um, and then it'll just be a matter of ordering the parts I need. Uh, I do need some plexiglass that will cover the top um, that I don't need to cut. Like if I have to cut it, it's just gonna look terrible. So we'll just have to go with it, see what happens. And uh, I'll be back once this bit's tidied up and that's drilled. So I'm back, as you can see. There is the black line that's around that that needs to be taken off. Uh, we have this, which has now been drilled, which will now fit this. Uh, tomorrow, 
the legs for the table, the LED lights, um, and the bolts and everything to attach it all together. That's all coming. Um, so hopefully tonight I'm going to try and do this by hand because I don't have other bits to do what I need to do. So we're going to give it a go and hopefully I'll be able to get some most of this off, if not all of it. So I could be here a while. Uh, I won't bore you too much with that. And then tomorrow when I wake up, it'll be a lot of painting and stuff. I have decided that I was going to polish this, but I haven't got the right tools to do it. And I have got a centre cap for it now that I've just purchased um, that I will need a black wheel. So tomorrow I'll probably get that primed. Um, if not tonight, maybe. But we'll see uh, where we are in the morning. So I will get the electrics on this, but because of how long it's taken today, it is quite late. It is only seven, but I don't really want to be getting the really heavy duty screaming saw out um at this time so uh you'll have to bear with me see how we can get on with this and like i say you'll see it in the morning but for now i'm just gonna crack on with it and uh yeah get things okay. done so we had a mild change of plan obviously um involved in this there is gonna be some painting and stuff luckily i had a can of etch primer um from one of the previous tasks that i had uh, I've also got some black gloss to do the top of the work, uh, the bottom of the workbench, at uh, bottom of the um, table. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get like a layer of paint on tonight, just because I know that it's gonna need time to harden before I get the rest of it on. So tonight's operation is basically just to take care of that, and uh, yeah, it's it's just gonna be a quick one. So I'm not gonna video this because it's literally just me spraying stuff grey. Nothing exciting, nothing to really put into it. But I know that the gloss is gonna take 24 hours to really harden and take. So that could be a bit of a project in itself. Um, I'm hoping it's done by tomorrow so I can just get it all put together. But knowing my luck, something will happen, something will come up and we'll have to keep working on it. But for now, I'm just gonna get some primer laid, get the initial black paint on that. And we'll go for it. Okay, so we're in today too. Uh, I went to Wakefield today, um, picked up some paint uh, for the wheels. The All the little bits and bats that I need have arrived as well uh, to get this all put together. So as you can see, we have black spray paint on that. That's been black glossed. Um, there is a little bit more to do to it. I still need to get the Perspex top, uh, whether it's plexiglass or whether... I can make it so it's it works just like a table. Um, but that's a bit further on down the line. But yeah, everything's coming together. So the next bit will probably be, once this has been all painted, the process of putting it together and then give you guys a nice final reveal. Uh, so I think probably whilst all this is drying and stuff, there isn't really much for me to do. Um, so what I'm going to do is get this coated, get this painted, get this lacquered, get it all sorted properly. Uh, the next probably clip that I show you with me fitting the LEDs um, to the brake disc and how I'm gonna do that. And then I'll probably reveal how it all looks. But yeah, it's all going well. Touch wood that it's gonna keep going this way and all the parts are here. So two or three days, maybe, to get it all fully 100% done. So I'm happy, hope you're happy. Enjoy the next video. Day. Um, last night I was up to lit, getting all this lacquered. So that's now hardening. Um, and hopefully by the end of today, we should have some sort of product put together. Um, today's episode is basically fit the, um, the legs onto the bottom of the table, plumb the electrics through the brake disc. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping by the end of the day, I will be able to get an idea of um, of where we're at. So you'll have to bear with me for now. Um, I'll get the camera set up and we'll uh, get to working on some electrics. Fun. Okay, so the next bit uh, is the LEDs. 
So originally I was thinking of just running them around the outside, but I do want to run the uh, cable down through the center of the brake disc. So what I'm thinking is doing the outside, um, making sure it's stuck around the edge here, and then mimicking it on the inside a little bit so that it's basically, you can you, hopefully, my theory is it will come through the holes, which I think will give it just that perfect finish. Um, but I'm not an electrician or wirer, so I'm just this. This is similar stuff to what I used on the um, the Fast and Furious Cozy Coop build. Um, so I'll just get into this and we'll get started. So it looks like we're gonna to have to do a slight change of plan. Uh, so I got a meter of the stuff because I thought, you know what? A meter would be ideal. Um, it shouldn't be too much of a problem to get. I, th I thought a meter was a lot longer than it actually is. Um, so as a result, I'm just gonna to have to do around the outside and hope that it lights up on the inside. That's not gonna work. We'll see. To get the effect that I'm after, I obviously need to run that round there, which will give it a single sort of thing. But my other alternative thought was running it round the inside of it rather than the outside of it, which obviously dulls the colour, but you get that cool light up effect within the alloy within the brake disc. It is still lighting up though, that's the thing. I mean, you can't really see much because I've covered that. that. Okay, so the option I ended up going with was round the outside of it. Although it would have looked cool lighting up all these holes, the problem with it being is, um, wasn't getting enough light to the outside of the wheel to light up the full wheel. Um, so, like I said, as a result, I've had to kind of amend that, make it work, but we're there. I'm just gonna attach, uh, possibly attach the wheel to it now, see how it comes out, see how it looks. And it's all coming together. So yeah, bear with me. And uh, the next video you see will be the big reveal. Hopefully. Okay, so everything is pretty much assembled. It looks great. Uh, the only thing that I've got left is the Perspexy top. Uh, so I've had to order that special because I wanted it cut perfectly. Um, and with my cutting abilities and nothing to actually make a perfect circle. Um, yeah, I figured it was best to order it in. So that should be coming in the next three to five days. Uh, once that arrives, I'll get it on, get a video out to you guys and then you can see what it's like. To be honest, I absolutely love this thing. Part of me doesn't want to give it away uh, or trade it, but the other part of me is like, you know what? Bigger picture, we're getting close to the thing. This thing, I, personally, I think it's worth a lot more than I estimated, so we will have to see what I can get for it, but I, I'm honestly, I'm very tempted to keep it because I just love the look of it. Anyway, uh, that's enough for today. I will see you in three to five working days, according to the delivery. Get that all finally put together, finished off, and then we're on to the next part of the trade-up. We have some good news on the trade-up. It has arrived. So today, I'm going to get it finished off, um, get a top on, and basically get it all ready for trading. Um, but yeah, enjoy the little montage video.
the alloy wheel is all done. I uh, hope you guys like it. Um, it took probably a lot longer than I was hoping to do it and waiting around for stuff and things like that. But the end result, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, part of me does want to keep it, but I do need to deed to trade it. So it is going to get put up on Marketplace at some point um, shortly. Uh, the other part is the Suzuki Swift uh, panel. I have a guy coming to get that Thursday. Um, so then I've only got one project left and a pocket full of cash um, to to do the trade-ups with. So ideal in an ideal world, I want about 250 to 200 for that, that thing. I've checked Facebook Marketplace and there is loads out there. However, there isn't any, or there isn't many with the RGB LEDs that are waterproof um with the brake disc and everything so it is pretty unique so i'm i'm, I'm hoping to get 200 250 for it i'm gonna put it up at 250 see what we get and uh go from there but yeah i, I love the thing to be fair part of me does want to keep it but i know i've got to get rid of it um so yeah thank you for for tuning in thank you for watching the full clip um hope you enjoyed it hope it was uh of some form of entertainment to you and um yeah i will uh be back shortly with the next video so thank you again for liking subscribing and watching it's really appreciated all right have a good day